So your buddy rolls up on a brand new ATV and after looking at his and looking at yours you realize yours looks like crap. Say you love the way the motor runs, you're happy with the machine, it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to show you what to do to make it look like this. Now I spent 40 bucks and some elbow grease, painted the rims, painted the the racks and I painted the gas tank cover and I put some decals on it. It looks like a $2,000 machine right now before it looked like a $400 one. I'm going to show you a couple tricks and tips on how to make your machine look brand new. First things first, pull your tires off and um, depending how they look um, if you're lucky, it'll just be some light paint, paint flaking off. Take, uh, I believe I got 80 grit here, and then I went to um, 220. And I sanded the whole thing down, masked it off, and I painted it in primer. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip. A lot of guys they paint their rims black because it's cheap, it's easy, uh, get over spray on the tires, you know, you don't even notice it. You want your ATV to pop, get a nice metallic silver. You saw the video, uh, the, the picture um, before of the ATV I had, those rims really pop. That's the first thing I see when uh, I see an ATV. So. What I did was, uh, after sanding this, I masked the rim of the tire, sprayed it in black primer, and now I'm going to get ready to paint. Nice metallic silver. Get yourself a $5 can of spray paint, nothing spectacular. Look pretty good. All you do is you spray it. Hey, look at that. Yeah, if you can see it in the camera, but flowing real nice, nice metal flake. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and show you how it looks. And there you have it. Took maybe about 10 minutes, an uh, hour total to mask up, uh, prep, clean it up, make sure you got a clean surface, um, mask everything up, take some lacquer thinner, uh, clean up the, the tires when you're done, throw it on. It'll make your wheeler pop. Next thing you want to do is take all the plastic off your your ATV if it looks faded. Uh, I'm gonna show you how mine ended up looking. Let's see here, it's not red anymore. It looks pink. So what you do is you clean it up, soap and water, um, take lacquer thinner, and clean it all up. And what the lacquer thinner does is it'll help uh, etch the surface of the plastic to give paint something to stick onto. So I've got this lower section, sprayed it, it's got some uh, uh, spray paint, make sure it's for, uh, this says bonds to metal and plastic, you want something that's going to stick to plastic otherwise it's just going to peel off, scratch off if you hit a branch or something. And then I t went the extra mile, went and got these, lo uh, these numbers from uh, my local auto parts store, make it pop a little bit turned out sharp. Um, I'm in the process of uh, painting a new wheeler right now. This will be my second one. And I'll show you that when I'm done. And here it is finished. Um, everything red was looking pink so I painted the red. Left the gray around the gas tank. Um, I did put some pinstriping. 
Got my rims looking shiny. Actually, the coloring in here because of the lighting <laughs> makes the uh, the wheeler look orange, but it's actually red. I said I went the extra mile. What the lettering? Painted the racks. Even painted the grill. So this went from looking like a $300 piece of crap to something that actually might be worth something. Thanks for watching.